Architecture is about the possible, the possible world. First, there is nothing, and at that time, anything seems to be possible. In the 1980s, architect Yoshio Taniguchi drew a circle of 100 meters diameter on a white sheet of paper. In 1989, the Tokyo Sea Life Park was opened. Seen from a distance, there was a dome floating on top of a small lake. There are a few sails as well, suggesting perhaps an affinity towards naval architecture. To enter the Sea Life Park, we, the visitors, have to go down, by escalator of course, into man-made land, reclaimed from the sea. Slowly, we dry ascend into what Jacques Cousteau has called the silent world, the world without sun. We first become spectators, then characters in a dreamlike world of unimaginable fantasy. The signs on the walls tell us that the bluish spaces that we see with our own eyes would in reality crush us, implode us, but still here it is, a fictional reality behind centimeters of acrylic. We walk up a few stairs. The fantasy dissolves quickly as we get a glimpse behind the scenes of the aquarium. Lambs heating the water, a turtle being fed in a box. Before we know it, we're back outside, facing penguins, creatures who with their own onland clumsiness we can again relate to. We turn around and we can now again see the hand of Taniguchi and his concrete 100 meter circle, that enclosure of this otherworldliness.